Hello everyone, welcome back to SBR Pythons. I hope you're keeping well. Today we've got the next egg cutting of the year. Um, nothing absolutely out of the world on this one. Um, so what we've got here is a pastel double heck clown pied female. Um, this is her fourth year? Uh, no, third year of giving me a successful clutch. Um, really, this girl has done a lot for me, obviously making uh, the clown pieds that I've hatched out. Um, but this year I tried something different with her. So I thought what I'll do is I'll put her to the Pastel DG Pi Poshet Cryptic. Um, and that way, if he didn't prove out Cryptic from the uh, Mojave Fire Clown, which we now know he didn't, I would have some backup eggs um, from this Het Clown and also another Poshet Clown just to try and see if I can make any Kryptons. Obviously, if he if she passes on Het Clown and he proves on passes on Het Cryptic, I would make Kryptons, even though they in theory are Pos Het Clowns. I'd immediately know they are Clown. So yeah, that's kind of what we're looking for here. Um, and obviously we have got the, the option of making, if nothing else, um, some pies that will be 100% het for DG and then 50% het for clown. But ultimately the goal here is to make a Krypton. But let's have a look at dad as a reminder um, as to what the dad is. And as a reminder for any of you that haven't seen dad, um, here's dad, pastel desert goes pied, 50% uh, hit cryptic. Um, I laugh because I hope you guys uh, appreciate me getting him out because I nearly just got popped for it because it's feeding night and uh, he was well aware there was rodents in the room. But anyway, um, here is dad. Let's see if we can make a krypton pied. So here we go. As mentioned, pastel desert ghost pied, possible cryptic to pastel double het, uh, six locks, five eggs. Uh, all have made it. There was two slugs. I think it's the first year she's given me slugs, actually. But there we go. Uh, Jews are hatched day 60 on the 19th. Today is the, I think, the 17th. So the day 58, um, three days behind average. But they are on the bottom shelf, which is to be expected. Um, and to my surprise, we have got a pip. Uh, I thought these would probably go another couple of days, to be honest. I had a, a feel of them and I didn't feel anything in there. But as you can see, got a pip there. So here we go. Uh, nice big eggs, it must be said. Uh, I'm not one for hatching up big or small babies. They come out how they come out. <laughs> it is what it is. So come out. What, what, what accent was I going for there? They come out when they come out. No idea. But anyway, five eggs. I can already see that one of them isn't a pied, which is not a good start. I can see it from the window. Oh, I've always wanted to do this. How easy do they separate? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not a dig at anyone. It's just for my own amusement, because obviously I always keep my eggs uh, separate. These were still together because ultimately they, they would laid while I was away on a work conference. Um, and therefore I actually collected these a day after they were laid. So mum maternally incubated for almost two full days to be fair. So. Here we go, this one's made a right mess of its pip. You can see it's cut through a vein there, made a quite quite a horrible mess. So let's clean that up and then see what's going on in baby number one. It's a pied. Here we go. So we've got just a, what looks like there's gonna be some sort of super pastels in here, but looks like just a normal pied that is going to be, let me get this right, 100% Het Desert Ghost and 50% Het for uh, clown. Now there's no stripe in there that suggests Krypton. You can see the eye stripe to me looks fairly normal, so no Krypton there. But nice to start off with a pied anyway, because the more pieds we can hit here, the better. Um, obviously, females as well, because then we can get some hope for maybe some holdback females. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for um, from this clutch, to be honest. I'm going to try doing a perfect cut along the top, so I don't have to worry about like cut the slither off. I've seen a few people do this and it looks quite, uh, that's not worked for me. Because it looks quite a nice way to cut eggs because you end up with a nice window without having to tidy anything up. Sorry, I'm not on the camera there. Uh, kind of done it. Kind of. Let's have a look. I don't like how messy it's got though. <laughs> I'm going to go back to doing my own way straight after doing that. In fact, I'm going to put this egg down, clean up this mess because I don't like the mess that's created. Oh, let's have a look. I can see it's not visual. But uh, let's have a proper look in that egg in a minute when I've had to tidy up. Sorry, guys, I'm not too excited about this clutch because there's nothing mad going to come out of this. But um, still, really, I'm just trying to see a Krypton. But I don't think it's likely, if I'm honest. So that is looking like a super pastel. Let's have a little look. I was going to say, everything going to be pastel in here, but it shouldn't be. Because uh, it's only a pastel to a pastel rather than any super pastel involved. Yeah, that's a super bright one. So that's going to be a super pastel. Cool. Nothing crazy going on. Again, no Krypton looking eye stripe or anything. So I think that is just going to be a super pastel. Uh, that made a right mess. I'm definitely going to use not use that technique again. Uh, Lee Val from New Jean Balls. Because that was the person I saw cutting like that. And I thought, that looks rather tidy. But it's not. <laughs> so... 
On to egg number three. Let's get this one out of the way because I can see this looks like a normal pasta. I can see it in that window there. I don't know if you guys can see. Definitely no white. So let's get this one out of the way. Oh, he says, and then I've made a mess, but doing it my own way anyway. There we go. So yeah, as expected. Oh, actually, maybe that's the super pastel. Maybe that's the super pastel, and then that one's just a pastel. Who knows? Who knows? Everything's pastel. God damn. I say god damn, but then pastel is probably one of the key genes in, in Desert Ghost, to be fair. So I suppose it's not the end of the world. But last two eggs. Give us another pied. Give us two more pieds. Is that too much to ask for? Oh, it wasn't. Uh, what is that? What is that? Is that a normal pied? Hang on. Again, let me tidy up the mess here, because that is extremely bright. Like, very orange. Unusually orange. Hmm. That can just be a normal pied, I guess, but it's very orange. Hang on, guys. Let's get a better look at this animal here, because this is more interesting, that's for sure. I suppose the odds of hitting a Krypton would be criminally low. Look how orange that thing is. Like, just for a normal pied. That's all it can be. It's very orange. I wonder. I can see a bit of the eye. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to get too excited, but that might be something interesting. But if nothing else, it is a pied. Now, I said could I have two more pieds. Uh, there's one of them. And then, so this will be the second one, right? That's how it works. You ask and you get. See? You just have to talk nicely to these odd gods and they'll, they'll give you what you want. That's very high white. That's probably the super pastel version. Just because if we look, the saddles are very different. Let's see if I can get that for you. I realise the lighting's not great on these guys. I apologise for that. But I believe this is going to be a super pastel version. So, yeah, not too bad. And it's a little bit higher white as well. Cool. Let's have a little rundown and uh, kind of go through what we got. So here we go. We got what I believe to be just a pastel uh, that is going to be 100% het for Desert Ghost Pied and 50% het for Clown. A super pastel that will also be 100% double het, possible triple het. A pastel pied, a normal pied, and a super pastel pied that will all be het Desert Ghost and 50% het Clown. So Pretty much 50-50 on, uh, on the odds. Uh, lots of pastel. Um, this is the one, e it actually, to be fair, that I'm most interested in. Um, with it being a really nice colour. I'm really, really, I like that orange. But I can see sort of like a stripe that I'm more interested in seeing. So we'll see when it comes out. But ultimately, there we go. Um, five eggs, five healthy babies, three pieds. Can't complain. Um, Desert Ghost in the mix. Maybe Clown in the mix. Um, the best, uh, the pied in the mix, which for me, always the best. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope your seasons go well. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.